morning everybody welcome to a spend the day with me video i thought i would just bring you guys along for a chill day off i have two weekdays off as well as the weekend for my regular work schedule and when i tell y'all i love to make my days off super relaxing very chill i like them to go by really slowly particularly the weekdays when i'm able to do a little bit of running around and stuff I just like it to go super slow and chill and that's what it's going to be today. You guys are going to be hanging out with me for a day off. I don't know what day this video is going to post but I am filming this on a weekday, a Tuesday to be specific. But wanted to share my little morning routine and that's basically what you saw is what I do when I'm off. I get up, fix my bed because if I don't I'm going to stay in the bed. Then I usually make me something to eat which today I made one of my favorite breakfasts. Just some sausages and some eggs with cheese and green onions. And of course my coffee and I have to share something amazing that I recently discovered with you all. This is called Javi Coffee. It is so bomb. All you need is one or two teaspoons and it makes the darkest, richest cup of coffee. It's like an extreme coffee concentrate. It says liquid microdose coffee. When I tell y'all this is amazing, this is the best discovery I've ever made. And they reached out to me and I get a lot of companies reaching out to me y'all. But I just don't show y'all all the stuff and I don't you know respond to all these companies it has to be something that I'm really interested in and because I love coffee I wanted to try out this company and I'm so glad that I did because their coffee is so bomb okay you can use cold drinks add cold water to it add you know um, milk to it soy milk oat milk whatever or you can do just like I did and add hot water to make a typical cup of coffee all I needed was two teaspoons and I added that to the hot water as well as some creamer you all saw that the coffee made French vanilla cream creamer and boom made the best cup of coffee and when I tell y'all it's so dark and rich it tastes just as if you made like your coffee from coffee grounds it is so so good and it wakes me up oh my goodness it wakes me up y'all <laughs> which I really need most mornings so try out Javi coffee I'll list their information in the description but getting back into what we're going to be doing today I thought I would just bring you guys along I'm definitely going to do a little TJ Maxx run I love to do that during the week when it's not a lot of people in the store and um, you know just maybe a tiny little get ready with me I don't do too much to as far as makeup when I'm not filming I don't do too much you know what I'm saying I'm just like you all I'm sure you just you know do a little brush through of your eyebrows maybe a little powder on the face and that's it so that's pretty much what I do as well but I'll do like a little get ready with me and then I'll take you all along to TJ Maxx we'll have some lunch together here at the house it is such a beautiful overcast day today so I'm super happy I'm filming this video today because it's nice and overcast as well and I love overcast weather so beautiful gray day beautiful chill day that's what we're going to be doing today so um yeah welcome to a spin the day with me y'all let's get into this video so I just finished up my breakfast y'all it was so good um it's so filling like Starting off the day with proteins, I don't know what it is, but it's just so filling and it makes me feel good. I've been really trying to cut down on the unhealthy carbs a little bit, so it really helps me out when I start my mornings with proteins. I, I tend to eat a little bit better throughout the day. But um, I'm just sitting here having my coffee. Like I said, I like to just ease into the day, y'all. I really, really do. So I'm going to sit here, finish my cup of coffee, and read this book that I'm working on. It's called Anatomy of Style by Sophie gadget got this from Amazon and it's all about the evolution of fashion it has pictures all throughout it different looks from like the 80s 90s and just you know talks all about fashion how different styles have come about and so forth who started different styles and you know a lot of fashion icons and people who have made a huge impact on fashion so I like to sit here and read this book and look through the pictures and so forth and um, yeah, it's a great way to start the day, starting off with a book. I used to always start off with TV, which I love to watch Little House on the Prairie in the morning, y'all. I'm so, so weird, but I love me some Little House on the Prairie. But now I like to start off reading a book on my days off. That's what I've been doing lately for the last, I'd say the last year or so. But yeah, a good book. You can't go wrong having it with your coffee, sitting, chilling, looking at the people walk by outside. That's my thing in the morning. So I'm going to do that for a little bit. Then I'm going to hop in the shower and uh, show you all what I'm going to throw on. Something a little bit more comfortable. Well, you can't get more comfortable than your PJs, but <laughs> I'm going to throw on something comfortable for the day. That's for sure. And then we'll see what we get into. Get into our little TJ Maxx run, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Let me finish my book.
the text sign XO. My ace boom boom, no flex, no. I won't gas you up like Petro. Just trying to take you way up with a jet go. But you didn't notice that. Keep clocking all my hours, I told you that. Work now, play later. But you keep going off on me. Keep texting like it's all on me. Yeah, you're all in my head like. You're my forever, not for right now. My day one, you hold me down. Hard cold like the winter time. Fight for your love, can't slow me down. Don't go far. I take me and you over living large. Know I'll be there wherever you are. Cause you shine bright like, you shine bright like a shoe. Okay, you all, your girl is all showered up and feeling so fresh and so clean on this wonderful gloomy day. I thought I would go ahead and do my skincare with you all because I wanted to share some amazing products that I recently discovered. And this portion of the video is gonna be sponsored by Elf Skin and Magic Links. I've been using their Holy Hydration line, you all, and when I tell you these products have transformed my skin, I haven't had any breakouts, my blemishes are starting to go away, the dryness under my eyes is going away, y'all. The products are absolutely amazing. I don't just tell y'all about anything. I have to use it, I have to be able to testify to it, and I've used these products for about a month now, and when I tell you they're amazing, trust me not only is elf killing the game with their makeup but they are killing it with skincare you gotta try the elf skin holy hydration line and i just washed my face using the holy hydration daily cleanser it leaves it leaves my skin feeling clean but not like stripped you know what i'm saying you know how some cleansers just strip your skin of all its natural oils it doesn't do that it cleans the skin but it leaves it feeling moisturized plumped and just really soft and nice and now i'm going to be going in with their moisturizer this is the holy hydration face cream this is a broad spectrum SPF 30 face cream, so UVA, UVB. It has sunscreen in it, it has hyaluronic acid, which helps to remove my blemishes and helps to, uh, my skin to retain moisture. It also has a peptide complex, it has ceramides in it, it has so many amazing things to help protect my skin from the environmental hazards out there and just really keep my skin nice and moisturized and plumped. And on days like this, when I'm not doing like heavy makeup and full coverage, I just want my skin to look and feel as best as it can. And these products just really make it feel so good. Oh, this moisturizer feels amazing. And knowing that it's protecting me from the sun, that it's protecting me from environmental hazards and toxins, that makes me feel even better about using these products. And it just goes on so nicely, giving me that glass skin look, y'all. Oh my goodness. I slept in the Holy Hydration Sleeping Mask last night. And this is a mask that you can use as a sleep mask overnight or you can use this as a rinse off mask so you can leave it on for 10 or 15 minutes and rinse it off but I did sleep in that last night so really great mask y'all I woke up feeling super plump my skin felt amazing and I just love sleeping in that mask I use that about two or three times a week I also use the holy hydration makeup melting cleansing balm and this is what I use on those days where I wear heavy makeup it comes with this cute little little scooper here to scoop it out and put it on your face and you basically just kind of rub it in until it turns into an oil and then just rinse it off and it takes off all the makeup off your face it makes removing the makeup so much easier but I am in love also with the holy hydration eye cream it has hyaluronic acid as well the peptide complex it has ceramides it has all types of products in it to help to plump up those under eyes and really moisturize them and this is an area that I struggle with dryness really badly my under eyes are always super dry so I like to just take that product and just lightly go in with a super light hand and rub that in under my eyes and it always leaves them feeling so plump and moisturized no dryness and I use this underneath my makeup as well you all and I just love taking my time to rub it in it feels so good and one thing that I've noticed when I use the eye cream my bags are not as prominent, so it helps to plump them up and just make my uh, under eyes look a lot better. They don't look as sunken or deep as they normally do because I have deep set under eyes, but these products have transformed my skin, y'all. One month of using them consistently and my skin looks amazing absolutely amazing. Okay, so I had to share that with you all. Try out Elf's holy hydration line you have to try it especially if you suffer from hyperpigmentation dry skin acne breakouts and things like that it's clean products that have all the ingredients necessary to protect your skin from the environment the sun and anything else that you need i really love these products like i said 
I don't be sharing any old anything with y'all. It has to be something that I really feel is working for me and that I really love. And these products are the bomb. But now that I've moisturized and taken care of the skincare, I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda throw a little concealer on, make myself look a little bit more presentable, and we're gonna head out to TJ Maxx. So let's do that right now. Alrighty, so here is the outfit of the day, you all. On the feet, I am wearing my Nike Air Max 95s from Nordstrom. I have on some cargo joggers from Boohoo, nice and comfy and cute. On the top, I have on a white t-shirt from ASOS and of course my little mocha or chocolate color puffer vest from H&M. That is the look of the day, super chill, y'all. I did try to do a little something to my face. I'm going for that glass skin look today, so did touch up the face a little bit, but those e.l.f. products already had me nice and glowy and dewy, so didn't have to do much. I'm going for the glass skin look, so real chill, y'all. Hair in a ponytail. Perfume of the day is going to be Victor Roth Flower Bomb. That is the perfume of the day, so I'm smelling good. I feel good. I'm nice and comfy. I think we're ready to go, so let's head out to TJ Maxx, y'all. Let's roll. y'all i am back like i never left but i did because i spent 185 dollars 185 dollars at tj maxx i don't know how the hell my bill came up to 185 dollars but i'm having major buyer's remorse so some of this stuff might end up going back <laughs> but i got this big old bag of stuff i just told the lady put it all in one bag uh, uh just put it all in one bag girl i'll be careful but uh, first thing i got is this cute little tray it was $16.99 and I got this for my kitchen. I like to put my hot sauces and spices on the counter. So this is like the perfect size and I love the style of it. It's pretty simple. This will go perfect inside my little kitchen. I uh, also got oh some cookies. I love Walker shortbread cookies. Don't mind those. <laughs> uh, the most expensive thing I got is this Steve Madden bag in this like electric pink. It's real cute. This was $32 I think so real cute cute little mini bag I got some gold measuring cups a set here this was $7.99 really cute I love the shine on that um, I also got a lemon juicer because I have a big one I wanted to get a small one just that I could pull out when I need to juice a lemon and I love that the cup has measurements on it so I can see how much I'm juicing I also got this um, powder brush from Japonesque. I love Japonesque brushes and I always get them at TJ Maxx. Got some cloth napkins. I love the design on these and as you can see they were $12.99 for a pack of eight but they have sunflowers, they have brown, gold, yellow on them. I got two sets of these. They were $12.99 each because you know a girl is going to be moving soon. I'm manifesting my move. 
and when I do there's gonna be a ton of entertaining going on I also picked up these little cute little espresso 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 let me say it right um, coffee mugs they're so cute I got these for my kitchen everything in my kitchen is like black white tan brown wood metal so these will go really cute I have some in there now but they don't really match so I'm gonna replace them with those I also picked up this cute little salt and pepper shaker in like this little metal cage here I thought this would be really cute for the counter as well sit that inside of the little tray that I got I also picked up two glass pitchers and these can also be used as vases they were $3.99 each and this is what they look like they say litro on the uh, front so liter I guess Italian for liter but I got two of those $3.99 each and I love that I can use those as pitchers to make like a cocktail in or I can use those as vases because my boyfriend buys me flowers a lot and sometimes he'll buy them like you know over and over and I don't have a place to put them so I'll use those as vases as well but I also picked up some apple cider vinegar gummies these were $16.99 and they are organic apple cider vinegar gummies with the mother so um, I love to take apple cider vinegar gummies in the morning they give me so much energy they help with my sweet cravings because I'm the kind of person that craves like coffee cake and donuts in the morning so they help a lot with that um, the next thing I picked up are some coffee mugs I got this one for my boyfriend it says fall is for football because he is obsessed with football so I got that for him and I got me this set of coffee mugs because I'm trying to replace the mugs in my kitchen I have a lot of novelty mugs and those are fun but I don't want them in my kitchen anymore I want all the mugs in my kitchen to match so I got these to hang up on my little hooks on my cooking rack so I'm gonna replace the ones that are in there with these and put my novelty mugs away in a cabinet so they'll be out of the way the next thing I picked up is this sand and fog candle y'all know how Alicia loves a good candle this is in the scent cinnamon vanilla and I smelled it in the store and I like the way it smells normally I don't like super strong uh, vanilla scented candles but this one is actually pretty muted you can smell the cinnamon and it has like some woodsy scents under there as well so I picked that up I really like it I also picked up these sponges they are black two black and two white I like to use these in the shower like when I'm finished showering to clean the shower like while I'm standing in there I also picked up these measuring spoons in gold these go really good with the gold measuring cups that I got and I already have a lot of little gold accents in my kitchen just to add a little bit of contrast to the rustic look that I have in there so those will go perfectly I do have another bag of stuff let me grab that y'all I, I forgot I got one more little bag of stuff hold on so I almost forgot about this other TJ Maxx bag that I have right here I forgot there was two bags y'all but um I got another sand and fog candle this one is in tropical citrus and I love the tops on these candles um, this one has like little sunflowers all over it if you all can see that it's so cute and then this one has like a beautiful chocolate girl on there I love the tops on the sand I love this brand this brand is like the bomb but got this one in tropical citrus this one in cinnamon vanilla so those are my candles I'm constantly buying candles I just like to stay stocked up because I burn them and I, I usually will burn it all day long and you know it'll last for a few days and then it's over so I like to stay stocked up on candles but I also picked up this really cute canister um, the candles were $7.99 each this canister was $5.99 and this one has cotton balls in it as you can see it has like a wooden top I'm getting ready to switch out the vanity in my bathroom for a black one so I wanted to have like nice matching stuff inside of it I picked up this one as well it has cotton balls in it too but I'm gonna switch this one out for probably q-tips but this one was $5.99 also from TJ Maxx and I have one more canister for the bathroom this one has little uh, cotton pads in it it was $6.99 as you can see it also has that wood top so yeah pick these up for my bathroom for when I do my cabinet switch out so that I can have really cute matching stuff in there with all of my little face stuff my face wipes my q-tips and all that stuff all together and then I also got this glass canister this was $9.99 and I love that it has wood on the top 
This is actually for pens and pencils for me to put on my coffee table. I wanted something clear and kind of modern. I like to keep pens on my coffee table because that's where I keep my little gratitude journal and my little books that I like to write in. I keep them on the coffee table. You know, and of course nosy people, I'm sure, <laughs> probably go through it, but I don't care. Nothing in there to hide, but this was $9.99 from TJ Maxx. And the last thing that I got from TJ Maxx is this sand and fog diffuser, diffuser, oil diffuser. So it has like the little wooden sticks and then it has the oil and this is in the scent. Uh, no, I don't know what the scent is, but it smells good from the bottle. So I'm not sure. It smells kind of kind of citrusy and a little bit musky. So I like the scent of it. When I smelled the bottle, I was like, let me get that oil diffuser so I can put that in the bathroom. But yeah, that's everything that I got from TJ Maxx. I did do a H&M run last night. So I'm going to show you all what I got from there and I picked up some sneakers from DSW on my way back home. So I'll show you guys those as well. So let me clear this stuff out of the way and I'll show you what I got from H&M last night and DSW and then we're going to chill for the rest of the day. Shopping is exhausting y'all. So uh, let me clear out this stuff and we'll get into the rest of the stuff I got. Alrighty, so I want to show you all what I picked up from H&M while I'm showing y'all stuff. Might as well do a little little H&M haul with you guys. <laughs> so the first thing that I picked up is this v-neck sweater right here. It's just like a marble tan taupey colored sweater. I like these sweaters for the fall so just can't get enough of them. I also picked up this cardigan which is a similar color. It's a little bit lighter but it's just a waterfall cardigan as you can see. I got this in a size medium and it runs really oversized just FYI but um, this was $19.99. The sweater was $19.99 as well. I also picked up this sweater, which is like a vest type of thing, but it's long and it has like really high splits on the sides. This is what it looks like. It has a high neck. This was also $19.99. And like I said, it has like really high splits on the side here. So you can wear this like with a white button down and some jeans. Or you can wear this over, um, you know, over anything basically. Some faux leather leggings and like a black turtleneck or something like that. That's how I'm probably going to style it. Kind of edgy and cute, you know. I also picked up this hat. It's like a taupe colored hat. I'm going to Las Vegas next, this coming weekend actually, a few days from now. Um, and I'm going to be wearing this color scheme when I go because I don't want to take a whole bunch of stuff with me. So I'm kind of going to stick to the same color scheme so I don't have to pack as much stuff. That's usually my deal when I go on vacation. I try to stick to the same color scheme so I don't have to be packing a whole bunch of stuff. But I picked up this hat. It's in a size large. I love that H&M's hats um, come in different sizes because not everywhere does that. But I, that's why I love H&M hats and I love Brixton hats because you can get them small, medium, large, and so on, and I got a big head. But I also picked up this little hat. This is like a fuzzy hat in this like cream color, beige. So I picked that one up as well to take to Vegas with me. It's gonna be kind of like mild weather, I guess you could say. It's not gonna be too hot, it's not gonna be cold. So um, the weather should be really nice. I'm going with my two of my aunts and some of my cousins just like a little mini girls trip we'll be there during the week we'll leave it on a sunday and we're coming back on a wednesday so it's gonna be nice we'll do a lot of running around maybe go catch a couple of shows and whatnot we've been talking about what we're going to be doing so it'll be fun um another thing that i found on my way back home from h&m were these steve madden sneakers and they are lit they're so cute and they go perfectly with my color scheme for Vegas. And this is what they look like. And I don't know if you guys can catch it, but they have sequins on them. And they are just so jazzy. They remind me of Yeezys. I would never spend my money on Yeezys, honestly. So these are perfect for me. They are so cute. I love the beige, the taupes on there. These will go with so many things in my wardrobe, including what I have on today. So, um, they kind of remind me of the Air Max that I'm wearing today, but you know, they got the sequence on there. It's the sequence for me. It's the dancing of the sequence. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but these are the bomb. I got these in the size eight and they were they are from DSW. And like I said, they're by the brand Steve Madden. So yeah, pick those up to take with me to Vegas for my little beige, taupey, creamy color scheme that I'm gonna have going on there. And those were, I think they were $99. They were $100. 
yeah, they were $99.99, so that was the price of them, and um, yeah, that's what I got from H&M and from DSW. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and change into something more comfortable. I want to put on my little comfy, cozy sweater set that I got from Fashion Nova. You guys saw that haul, so that should have been posted already. I'm going to throw that on because I, even though sweats are comfortable, I don't like to lounge in them. I want to put on something more comfortable, like a little cozy set. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to change into that, get my lunch, which I got some Del Taco, sit down and eat that, and we'll see what the rest of the day holds. I don't know how much longer this video is going to be, but we will see. I got some editing to do, a couple of videos to send to my editor, and um, yeah, that's about it, y'all. Like I said, it's going to be a chill day. That's what we're looking at. from a different star flying over streets and all broken hearts but they can even touch us we found a different beat paradise is waiting and we bought the lead oh getting caught in the mist is a man that never get out hey you guys so it is 8 55 exactly so the video is winding down to a close because it is a school night for me. It's Tuesday night and Wednesday is my Monday at work. So, got to start getting ready for my day tomorrow. My work days are long, but thankfully it's only a few of them for me. But, um, you know, I love my job, but I also love doing this. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm definitely going to try to do more of these, like, spend the day with me. And I'm sure I'll get better at it as I do them more. But, yeah, look forward to some more cozy spend the fall day with me. Spend a cozy fall day with me type of the deal. You know, where I just take you all along for a few little things. I didn't actually show you everything I did today. I did the laundry. I cleaned the kitchen a little bit. I started working on the cabinet that I'm putting together for the bathroom. So, I don't want to bore you all with all of that. But maybe I'll include more of that in the next video. But, yeah, the day is winding down having me a little glass of Riesling and I just finished writing down some video ideas in my trusty old notebook. I love writing down my ideas y'all so that's what I'm gonna finish doing right now. I did my editing, sent the videos to my editor so that's out of the way. So I'll be kicking off tomorrow you know with a nice productive week so far so I like that but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with me for a little bit. Stay tuned for more. Love y'all. See you on the next one. Bye.